All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Nuka World, where dog meat just found something, apparently. And we are, of course, still here in the Galactic Zone, where in the last episode, we, of course, fought off a crap load of these different robots. And apparently, also, some commenters got a minor scare out of this guy. I did not notice that this mannequin is indeed an animatronic. Apparently I walked right by him as he was moving, didn't notice it, but some of you did, and apparently we can take his outfit. I really don't care to take his outfit, so we'll just leave it be, and dog meat was, oh, the turret was what you were telling me was special, maybe? Either that or you're looking somewhere else. Oh, I don't care, dog meat. Uh, so yes, what we're going to do today is heading into here, the Vault Tech Among the Stars building, where um we need to find five spacesuits. Which, oh god, I had to look this up after uh, the last episode, because one of you guys in the comments reminded me that, oh my god, the Hubologists were in Fallout 2. I had completely forgotten that they were the whole time in the last episode. I was wondering why they sounded familiar and why I felt like I should do that quest. Like I said at the beginning of the last episode, I didn't know why I was drawn to the Hubologist thing, but I wanted to know more. And that's why I, I just completely spaced that, yes, it was a faction in Fallout 2, and somehow, apparently, they've made their way here to the East Coast, all the way from San Francisco, but, uh, good for them, question mark? And, yeah, now they need spacesuits. So, in we go to most likely fight a whole lot of other robots. Oh, God. Oh, God, they're probably all in here, too. Okay, okay, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully not die. That'd be a good start to things, frankly. But, you know, no promises, honestly. Well, no one at least right here in the immediate area. I like the Vault Tech Among the Stars sign there. Very cool, very cool indeed. Eat well, live well. Indeed. Okay, got a faux vault in here. Always good to have. Ooh, let's, all right, let's take a look around, see if we can find anything of interest. There is a computer over here that looks like it's working still. Uh, anything in any of these bobby pins? Uh, no, I got plenty. <gasps> Vault Tech employee key. Oh, that's probably going to be useful. We will take that. And, oh, it's a sales terminal. Hmm. Oh, yeah, just sales instructions. Eh, meh. I don't really care to look over marketing material. <laughs> oh, God, we have elevators. Oh, boy, some multiple levels. We have the employee key. Uh, we'll look at that in a moment. Let's check out these first. Uh, another employee key, but I've already got that, so we should be good. Oh, and it works for that, too. Oh, beautiful. All right, we will take those and all of that. And that makes me happy. All right, what do we got up here besides dead folk? Um, Nuka Cola Wild, no. No. Ooh, game token. Yes! <laughs> I I have an unhealthy obsession with the uh, Nuka Cade guys. I really, really do. Uh, for more information, or to sign up for the Vault program, uh -huh. please see a sales associate. Thank okay. You, and enjoy your day here at Nuka World. Thank you, narrator. I don't know if I want to go in there yet. <laughs> also, what's this? Medallions! Oh, 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 one of the medallion things. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten that that was a thing here. The grand to- no, not the, the precious metals? Yes, precious metals. Huh. Oh, that was easier than I thought. You just gotta find those then. Okay, fair enough, cool. Well, let's go to the employee area. We'll do that first, then we'll take the tour. Hello? Sensor alert. And oh god! Why do they have one of these in here? Oh god, also health. Oh boy. What the hell does the theme park have one of those inside for? Dog meat kill! Oh god. Okay, I he's close quarters. We need to switch over to my shotgun. There we go. Die, you bastard! Oh god, he's charging up his thing. No! Go for the head! 
kill his beam! Oh, thank god I was able to hide before he got the beam on me. <laughs> okay! Oh god, he's in! Oh god, I hate you! I hate you so much! And... dead. Backing away just in case he explodes. No, we're good, we're good. Alright. <laughs> What the hell does a theme park have with this? Ah, oh, God, he's a fancy looking one though. Hmm. Huh. Left hand space auto laser. Oh, God, I want all the thi Oh, aluminum. Oh, yeah, we're taking the aluminum. Yeah, he does actually look quite cool though. Huh. <laughs> or wait, did I just try to. Oh, God, I picked up one of his things. Oh, God, what did I just pick up? I didn't mean to, but I hit E on something. Oh, it's probably going to be a miscellaneous, which means I'll never find it. Oh, uh, God. Oh, well. Seriously, though, what in the hell does a theme park have with an Assault Tron? Uh, technical documents that are completely useless to me now that I've destroyed the Brotherhood. And let's see. Anything else? Shotgun shells. Oh, yeah. More Vault Tech employee keys. Operator's terminal. Could we have shut them down? Oh, journal entries. Meh, to that today. Meh, okay. You, oh, hello. Lock. Do not feel like just reading on camera all day. So, let's head over this way. Oh, God. Sweet. <laughs> I'll take you. Oh, so they were observing the experiments from here, huh? Okay, maybe I do want to read that thing now. <laughs> okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Because they're observing vault tech experiments in here. What the hell? Operations terminal. Okay, first journal entry. It's my first day on the job here at vault tech Exhibit. Never thought they'd let me work in Nuka World. I mean, you can hardly call this a job. All I have to do is make sure the exhibit doesn't fall apart. All the techs are happy and sometimes conduct a tour or two. Plus, I'm getting paid double what I made at the DC office. Oh, good for you. One of the guys working in Nuka Galaxy said they give rise to the employees after the park closes. So I'll probably head over there after work, blah, blah, blah. Come on, become more sinister. Had a scare with this old guy collapsed after walking through the exhibit. I thought he might have had a heart attack, but Dr. Bateman said that it was just heat stroke. I thought that was a weird excuse because we keep the exhibit at a constant 72 degrees. Ew, I'd prefer colder. Maybe that's too hot for old folks. I'll bring it up in the next staff meeting. Okay. Another really strange day, Dr. Bateman locked himself out of the observation room again. I told him to put a spare key in his locker so he wouldn't forget it next time he brushed me off and left the room. I don't know why, but the whole interaction made me really, really angry. A few minutes later, I had a bad headache. Interesting. Maybe something's wrong with the filtered air system in the exhibit. Okay. The hell is going on around here? I don't know if someone is messing with my terminal or if I'm losing my mind. I don't remember making that last journal entry about getting angry or having a headache. I felt perfectly fine for weeks. Just a few minutes ago, Dr. Bateman came through and out of nowhere, he said I should really stop drinking on the job. I do smell a little bit like whiskey, but I don't remember drinking any. Maybe I need a vacation or a doctor's appointment. They're framing him. A frame job. Oh god, I hit the same one again. Oh, and I left. Oh boy, one more. <laughs> okay, all right, I've had enough of this. A lady just went nuts and ran out of the exhibit screaming the day before that. Some guy took off all his clothes for no reason and acted like he didn't have a care in the world until security dragged him away. No, um, to make matters worse, I keep getting sun and nosebleeds and headaches. I'm constantly forgetting things. I've done misplaced stuff I shouldn't be losing. Dr. Bateman said he thinks it has something to do with stress or new job anxiety, but come on, nosebleeds and memory loss from job anxiety? Really? Of course Vault Tech would experiment on a theme park. Of course, and I forgot to look through these. <laughs> Shotgun shells. Man, a lot of technical documents in this place. This would have been a treasure trove if it, uh, you know, hadn't been for me again killing the, uh, Brotherhood. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, definitely, though, of course the uh, vault tech is experimenting on just normal people. All right, oh, dear lord, a lot of observation things. Okay, we're going to read like one or two, and then we're going to move on. Theta radiation, of course, of course. 
<laughs> in the reactor area and observe the results it had on the visitors. Unlike standard ionizing radiation, Theta isn't supposed to leave any lasting physical effects and works almost instantly. It's been quite a chore keeping up with doctors' reports and aftercare sometimes months after the visitor left the park, so this will be a welcome change. I'll climb into the chamber tonight and change out the core dampener myself just to make certain it's done doc to Dr. Bateman's specification. Yeah, of course, of course. The uh, freaking vault tech, man. Freaking vault tech. Appears that at low levels, the theta radiation is having the exact effects Dr. Bateman predicted. People are getting tired, getting a bit dizzy, looking momentarily lost, and slurring their speech on occasion. Oh, like I do. Uh, the effect seems to last for about five minutes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's go down to what hopefully will be shit hitting the fan. I don't know if I'm paranoid, a victim of my own experiment, or what the hell is going on. Langston ran in here today, screaming something about bombs falling and to seal the vault. Oh my god, was this actually a functioning vault? He kept yelling and screaming, and the sound was making my head split. I couldn't take it anymore, so I shot him. Oh boy. I shot him dead. I tried to leave the control room, but we're locked in, or are we locked in? I don't know what's real anymore, and what isn't. My head hurts all the time. I keep getting dizzy. I keep falling asleep. Is the world gone? Was Langston lying or telling the truth? I don't know what to do. Maybe it's time I put an end to this? I think I know what I have to do. Oh yeah, shit really hit the fan here. You killed the guy for just telling you about the bombs. Ooh, Starcore. That seems like something for a mission later. Oh wait, weren't we looking for... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Star Control. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone because I have a feeling that's for that mission down the line and I rather... <clears throat> rather not uh, mess with that for the time being. Let's take a look at this one real quick. Observation. Daily observation, 9HG, blah, blah, blah. Tech ratcheted up a frequency of the subliminal suggestion emitters a few notches yesterday and we're checking out the effects. Honestly, I can't see an appreciable difference. We're using the blue-grade holotape suggestion, simple stuff like take off your hat, you have an itch on your nose, blink your eyes a few times, stuff like that. The frequency boost was supposed to widen the spectrum and grab more people, but I'm counting the same number over the last six hours. I might try the orange-grade holotapes. Freaking vault tech. Go to the last one. Been on blue grade for almost a week now, and frankly, it's getting boring again. I decided to throw in the orange grade holotape for a little while to see what happens. Best hour of the week for sure. Didn't have any fist fights this time, uh, but got a guy to drink someone else's Nuka Cola, made a lady pick a guy's pocket and keep his wallet, and actually had a guy just piss in his pants without a care in the world. This is premium stuff. I think I'll send this tape and the frequency we're using to headquarters so they can analyze it further. Freaking Vault Tech, man. Freaking Vault Tech. Alright, let's check out this. What we got? Anyone home? Hopefully no. This is cap stash. Oh, you always like the Oh, observation lab key. Laundered green dress? No, even though I would look pretty in it. <laughs> Alright, we'll take those. Hub cap, because apparently that's aluminum, I guess. Oh god, what do we have in here? Whoa! Oh, oh, hi! Oh god, I am almost dead. Holy mother of crap. <laughs> oh, hello. There are two turrets. Well, I wonder if this will do anything. Hold on, hold on. Am I out of grenades? The hell? I was trying to throw a grenade in there. Well, definitely not the artillery smoke grenade. Back away! Ha! I got one of them at least. Oh god, and I... Oh, the place was flammable. Oh, there was a gas canister. Are you... Are you alive? No? No? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful! I got them both! Uh, thank the gods. <laughs> that was my best plan yet. Alright, sliding door. Oh, this is going into the vault. Nope, nope, let's back up, let's back up and actually go through the vault then. I think that'll be a better choice. Well, let's check this one out though. H Hello! <laughs> this also looks like the vault. Mr. Handy Greeter. Nope, he doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. 
Silver locket. Crazy monkey in there. Friggin' hell. Yeah, that looks like inside the vault, too. So I guess we'll just go into the vault tour now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's actually get a different gun, then, since that seems like probably more open areas. Let's go with... Hmm, yeah, Righteous Authority. I got a crap load of ammo for that. For more information, imagine a future among Ooh. the stars. Imagine vault tech. Cool. Cool. Oh, so are they actually going to bring back the uh, the spaceship thing with vault tech? Oh, I hope so, because I that was always one of my favorite things about the canon, that that was the true vault tech plan. The vaults were merely experiments. The real plan was to send people to space. What's that do? Imagine a future among the stars. Oh, it repeats Imagine that. Fine. Vault tech. A thrilling new adventure awaits. Uh huh. Imagine hundreds of colonies. Spread throughout the galaxy and beyond. Ooh, cool. I have an employee key. We're going in. <laughs> Hello. Apparently a dead person here. Hi. Your clothes suck. I want to take your ammo, though. Beautiful. Doesn't look like anything else on this very poorly put together display. I mean, jeez. Oh, God. There's a thing up there. Ugh. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I take these spacesuits? Take spacesuit. Take spacesuit. All right, we got two of. Oh God, how much do those weigh? How much do they weigh? <laughs> um, not not bad, not bad. We should be fine. All right, as long as we're careful with our other things. And with Vault Tech's cutting edge science and technology, you can rest assured. Oh Lord! Your colony. <laughs> Yes, vault wonderful technology of laser guns! Die, laser turret! This gun is not as good as my others. <laughs> and, of course, all the lovely radiation in here. Holy hell! Well, they were doing the theta radiation test in these places, so I guess that is a thing. Dog meat, who are you? Oh my god! Sorry, dog meat! <laughs> Don't kill! Search for hostile. Take that! Target. <laughs> oh, Galactic Defender! Or Galactron Defender, actually. <laughs> I love grenades. They're fun. No, oh, die! There we go. Oh god, he's still not dead! How is he still not dead? Eat this! Violence <laughs> Now he's dead. <laughs> Oh, holy crap, I got a lot of radiation. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's others. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is... Oh, my Lord. This, this whole... This whole place is evil. Like, very, very evil. And he's ran right away in a stim pack. There we go. There you go, Mr. Greeter. Take that, you greeting... Robot of death. Oh, right, that was and horrible. Take this! And, oh god, another turret! Oh, freaking turrets. Can I turn off this radiation somehow, for God's sakes? Why is that just. Oh, it's part of the laser turret. I was about to say, it's like, we have a floating particle effect, apparently. Die! <laughs> Alright, we got another suit. Perfect. Nuka Cola lunchbox. Oh, we have these star cores. Oh, God, I probably should be taking these things. Step into your spacious private suite. I don't want to, and we activated another greeter. <laughs> Enjoy a rich, fairy diet. Oh, yay. Lasers everywhere. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's take another one of those. Do I have any larger explosives? <laughs> uh, the last minute should serve me well here. Spread throughout the galaxy. Charge up, dog meets fighting a greeter. Oh, hi! 
<laughs> oh, I love the last minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why wasn't I using this in our previous episode? Oh, hi. Now you're dead. God, I love this gun. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, okay. Let's reload it. We've got a fair bit of ammo. Still, I don't know if I want to waste it on turrets. <laughs> but at the same time, there we go. It's dead. Enjoy a rich, varied diet. Locally yes, a rich, varied diet of death. <laughs> Just smell oh, fresh. melon planter, cool, cool. Gourd. Wait, why are there moot, moot fruit in here? I mean, I guess there have obviously been some people who have come into this place. Because uh, we did find that person in the planet room. But still, who would have come in here to plant moot fruit? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's I loot these guys. No, take you. Take you. Beautiful. You. And you. Beautiful. I'll have to come back for all their other parts. Step into your spacious private suite. Equipped with all the comforts of home. Yeah, I mean, it's got some of the comforts. <laughs> Clearly not all, though. Where's my high-speed internet connection? For the, all that wonderful... Ooh, Nuka-Cola Quartz. For all that wonderful post-apocalyptic internet that clearly you'd have. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else fun around here? Let's see, what do we got through here? Oh, boy. We got an observation lab with another star core. Oh, yeah, death. Okay. Vault tech control room key. Ooh. Oh, oh. Project guidance. This is Louise Bateman reporting on week two of Project Consumer Guidance. Uh huh. Civilian employees are starting to experience extreme headaches similar to the previous study. Luckily, the associated depression has not surfaced, so suicides aren't expected to be an issue yet. Oh, God. The increased <laughs> subliminal messaging frequency continues to have little to no effect on many visitors. Right. The speed at which the park staff was affected does show that some level of success has been achieved. I recommend moving forward with the audience for the next project. Perhaps a higher frequency of messaging fed directly into a consumer who can focus will be more effective. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes more sense. I had forgotten that they were doing the subliminal messaging things, and when I've come into these different rooms, I've had, like, a little blurry moment in my head. So that would be why. Okay, well, let's look at the project lead terminal. Uh, let's see. Brainwave disruption. Radiation, scrubbers, minor loss of motor control, beautiful. Experiment 2, subliminal suggestion. Yes, we have that. Acceptance of suggestions, good times. What's 3? Hypnotic pheromones. Oh, didn't read that one. Where you say pheromone-like airborne toxin, which will be inhaled while passing by the emitters. Loss of independent thought, minor addiction. Oh, boy. Susceptibility to suggestion. Oh, great. Theta ra radiation. We did that one. Lovely. What's the last? Long-term testing. Use of experiments one through four. Oh, the people. <laughs> uh, to assess long-term effects. Varies by experiment. See experiments one through four. Okay. 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 Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Let's move forward. Oh, God. Have I been taking... Spacesuits... <laughs> <laughs> Forgot that's what I was doing. Yes, there was one here. Oh god, eleven freaking radiation in here. Yes, I took them. Uh, there wasn't one in here. Oh, that's the pheromone thing. It sprang out at us. Ah, and we go all wibbly wobbly when we go through. All right, so I think we're good for now. Let's take another rad away and stim pack. Red box. <laughs> Atrium. And these are no dark bunkers. And boom! Boom! How are you not dead? Die! 
Oh god, you're stronger than I expected. Also, hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Did our... Hmm? We normally have a permanent red thing on our hit points because of that. That thing right there. Our, uh, the mole rat disease. Do we still have that? God, I don't even remember what it was under. I've completely forgotten now. But, um, did we lose that somehow? I mean, obviously not. It's right there. Hmm. Interesting. Any more red? These freaking galactic defenders, man. They are a tough bunch. Oh god! Lasers! <laughs> god, I hate those things. Dog meat, go and draw their fire! Okay, okay, okay. Boom! No! Boom! I'm not hitting it! The stairwell is protecting it! <laughs> the hitbox on the stairwell keeps it safe. Okay, let's get further back. No. Yeah. There we go. We just had to get an angle on it. God, with all those freaking things. We have a door. What are you open? N nothing. <laughs> I love it. All right. Can we go down there or will we get lost? These are no dark bunkers. Your yeah, blah, 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 blah. With vault modular construction. Oh, God. <laughs> They're everywhere. God, I hate those turrets! There we go. Oh, is that the exit? There's wibbly wobbly stuff there. That's gas that normally ignites. Well, maybe we will have to check downstairs then. Aha! That's four. Oh, God. Where's number five? Let's reload. Get you. Seriously, where's number five? We got you locked. A little bit more. There we go. Ah, oh, thank God. The ammo I'm using right now. Uh, let's check this door. Nope. <laughs> Just all dead ends. All right, well, where does the... Oh, God, wibbly-wobbly stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, that's not going to be good for me, is it? That's going to be horrible for me. Well, let's roll. But life is possible underground. Uh-huh. Welcome to vault Tex Colony Arcturus. Welcome. Uh-huh. Die, utility protectron! <laughs> <laughs> hey, the last one. A frontier Baked by the unrelenting sun, life uh -huh. on the surface of this remote, desolate world is all but impossible. Except for you know, the ter terraforming with the gek, because the gek is cool. All right, suit. Yes. Haha. <laughs> uh, was there a door back here we could investigate? Aha. Well, we got that. Hello? Ooh. Another spacesuit. We have an extra one. Cool. Uh, anything else of use in here? No. No. Ooh, that's explosive. All right. Well, let's just roll back this way then. So is this the exit? With Vault no, that's where we came from. Techniques. New colony. Hmm? But life is possible. Did I get turned around? Welcome oh, yes, I shot boom, 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 went back that way, and then, Welcome yes, I should have gone this way. Join us on a journey into the future. Uh-huh. Humanity has set out on a new voyage of discovery. Yay! Among the stars. Good times. Where am I now? <laughs> okay, so we're in, uh, well, the end of it, obviously. But where is that? Ooh, bottle caps, yay. Uh, technical documents, no. Cooking pan and technical documents, no. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing these elevators would take you back to where you were before. And 
I think that this is a good place to stop. We are at a half hour mark and we have gotten a hold of all the spacesuits that we need. So that is a good thing. So I'm going to call it here, guys, and uh, hope that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.